you might have recently bought a Samsung Galaxy SX, or you may have had one for a while. Perhaps you've run into problems and are wondering how to fix them. Whether the Galaxy S6 back cover is peeling off or you've got an annoying camera bug, we've got some solutions for you below. Problem, Galaxy S6 won't turn on. Perhaps you've tried to turn on your Galaxy S6 a few times but it doesn't load up. This can happen, so no need to worry. There are some simple fixes for this. Solutions. Press the power button for about 10 seconds. This should reboot your S6. Enter recovery mode by holding the power, home and volume up buttons at the same time. The Android droid should appear. Select reboot system with the volume buttons to move up and down, then select your choice with the power button. Charge it for 30 minutes and then press the power button for 10 seconds. If none of these options fix it, you might need to call a technician. Problem, Galaxy S6 mobile data toggle is gone. Has your mobile data toggle mysteriously vanished from the quick settings? Perhaps it no longer appears in the list in the notifications shade and is no longer an option in the quick settings edit menu either. The issue has affected quite a few people to establish that it wasn't just an isolated incident, but we were unable to reproduce the problem in the Android pit office with either the Galaxy S6 Edge or the Galaxy S6. One solution to the problem came via XDA developers, who came to the rescue with an APK to fix the missing mobile data toggle. Solution. Samsung has officially patched the problem, courtesy of a new app called Quick Panel Restore in the Galaxy Apps Store. It is only available for the Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge right. To get it, just go to the Galaxy Apps app on your phone and search for it, it won't appear in the search results on other devices, and install. Once you open it, you'll see a big old button called Restore. Tap that to get your mobile data toggle restored and then uninstall the app. As you can see in our screenshot below, it certainly seems to do the trick. Problem, Galaxy S6 back cover peeling off. The back of one of the Galaxy S6 test devices we had at the Android pit office peeled away during use, calling its build quality into question. Most devices seem sturdy when we buy them, but if they start falling apart after just a few months, then that indicates a manufacturing failure. At no point did we drop our Galaxy SX, nor expose it to water or prolonged direct sunlight. The problem seems to have started near the speaker at the bottom of the device, as you can see in the image below. Another case of the back popping off appeared in Korea where a swollen S6 battery caused the damage. That isn't the cause of our issue, which seems to be a matter of poor adhesion. Solution. As you can probably guess, when something comes unstuck the solution is to restick it. Applying some new glue to the inside of the back cover, that will adhere to both metal and glass, will sort you right out, or you can use some very thin double-sided tape. Since this occurred, we haven't seen any widespread cover peeling issues with the Galaxy S6. If it does happen, you might be covered by warranty, or you might need to get it repaired. Problem, Galaxy S6 camera LED won't turn off. Back when the first Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge units made their way into the hands of consumers, a widespread issue appeared with the camera, namely that the LED flash would turn on and couldn't be turned off again. Initially restricted to T-Mobile Galaxy S6 owners, the problem soon appeared on other carrier branded and unlocked handsets. Samsung itself even admitted it was aware of the problem and was looking into it. Solution. Even though Samsung promised a fix back in early April, it wasn't until the Android 5, 1, 1 update that the LED flash issue was tagged as resolved. T-Mobile pushed the update on June 15, 2015, clearly identifying the LED problem in the change log on the T-Mobile Galaxy S6 software update page. What other Galaxy S6 problems have you been facing? Do you have any solutions to share?